Hey everybody, I hope you're doing great. Um, I just wanted to share something that kind of was a cool link between two FizzedU members and also shares a resource and a game idea for you. So I thought it'd be fun to put it together as a video here. So a couple days ago, I saw a FizzedU member, Tanner Rose, put a question on Twitter asking if anybody had any uh, equipment or suggestions for equipment that kind of brought nutrition into physical education. Now, a couple years ago, I created a resource called the Food is Fuel Nutrition Cards. And what it was, it was a set of 48 cards um, they were divided into six different color categories. Each color had eight cards within it. And on each card was a food, a food, some nutritional information, and then also uh, an exercise that you could complete when you received that card, depending on the game that you're playing. Now within each set too, there was a combination of healthy foods and unhealthy foods. I've used this in a couple different games, in my grocery cart shopping game, in Jake the Hungry Snake. Um, and I just always loved the cards. They just came really handy. It was a fun way to introduce nutrition into my teaching. Now, when I put these out, I got an email from another now visit you member, but someone who I didn't know at the time by the name of Dan Stover. And Dan told me that he was sending me a gift in the mail and I didn't know what he was talking about. And then a couple weeks go by and I receive these. I don't know if you can see this, but I received this sweet box that has like my branding on and everything. It's got the food as fuel cards in it. And it's got Dan's uh, emo emoji there on the back. And what Dan went out and did is he used a website called Game Crafter. And on that website, he was able to take the PDFs from the Food is Fuel nutrition cards and turn them into actual physical game cards. And these look sick. All right, I'm so impressed with how these turned out. Um, I love these, I use them in my teaching. I don't know if you can see a, a better shot there. There you go. So you can see all the information. They're nice. Mine, the original ones that I had were just like laminated printouts that I had. So Dan shared these with me and I loved them and it made me want to dive into the world of physical products and I decided that's not a world I want to get into. Um, but these would be a great tool for a whole bunch of games, including the one that Dan shared with me. So on top of building these, Dan also created um, a set of three nutrition cards here you can kind of see and basically it's healthy foods, unhealthy foods, hard to sort foods and he created um, 30 sets of each of these cards so that each student in his class could have three cards healthy, unhealthy and hard to sort and then each group so in groups of three to four students would get one color of food as fuel cards they'd have the pack down in front of them they would flip the card look at the card and then try to determine if that card was healthy, unhealthy or hard to sort and based on their answer, based off of the, uh, based off their answer, they would uh, do the exercises that are on the card um, to celebrate either having eaten healthy food or to burn off the extra calories that they got from unhealthy food. And he also put discussion questions on all the cards. I just thought this was amazing. So um, I'm gonna share the, the Food is Fuel Nutrition cards are in the visual space, so you can download them there. And I'll share some pictures of what Dan here put together um, because I just thought they were awesome. So. Tanner, I wanted to share that with you and I wanted to share it with everybody here because I thought this was a great resource uh, that you can use in your teaching and I just love the idea of turning it, these into actual physical cards um, that just feel more substantial. Uh, so Dan, thank you so much for this amazing gift. I still love it to this day. And everybody else, I hope this helps you out. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the replies. Thanks for watching and happy teaching.